keratin, brushable hold, no frizz. Me and John and frizzies. Together, we can. We might not be done with the rainfall yet today. Still some showers and thunderstorms possible. I'll have the details. Plus, mystery death. A local inmate dies after a trip in a transport van. The investigation of what happened to him continues. That's next on News Channel 5 at noon. Ladies, Clothes Mentor gives you more variety for your closet for a lot less than you'd think. All the better brand names in women's fashions under one roof. At prices so low, you'll be saying, wow. Like the look, love the price. After a car accident, money talks. That's why people are talking about Steinger is going green. They've helped clients get more money for their accidents. Like how much are we talking? 30, 40, even 50 times more. Whoa, get this. They got Diane $1.9 million after her car accident. $1.9 million? That's what I'm talking about. Money for her medical bills. Money for her family. Money for her peace of mind. It's no wonder. People are talking about Steinger is going green. 800-561-1111. Exciting. Today, Bob and I are sharing a story of this beautiful family, and it's a story that came straight out of our mailbag. We heard from one of our, our biggest fans. She's right here in the middle here. This is Adriana. She watches us here in New York at WABC. These guys are from Staten Island, the home of some insanely good Italian food, by the way. <laughs> um, she told us that their three little ones wanted to get involved with our 9 Million Meals campaign. This season, we have committed as a team at our show to trying to feed 9 million Americans. So these guys got together, made some handcrafted signs, they set up their own table, and they went outside to sell fruit punch. So adorable! So cute! So today we have everybody right here in the studio with the big drum roll to see how much they, they, they earned out in the street there. Adriana, Angelo, and the little vendors themselves, Alessia in the middle there, Gianluca right here, and Massimo on the end there. Wave everybody. Woo! <laughs> well, how about it? How much did you raise? Uh, so we raised um, $124.66. Wow, that is amazing. Some very overpriced fruit juice. <laughs> but let me thank you. Do you know how many meals that is? Every one dollar feeds ten people. That's what they were telling people. That's amazing. <laughs> that means you guys raised enough money to feed over 1,200 kids just like yourself. <laughs> guys, this beautiful family really shows what the power of everyone, no matter how young or how old, well, I mean, the, the power that we each have to help our communities, especially around this time of the year. If you guys want to help feed your hungry neighbors, your friends in need, go to our website, rachelrayshow.com. Click on 9 Million Meals and get inspired by lots of stories there and figure out how you and your family can help. Thank you so much to this beautiful family. Good job. Thank you. Good job, Thank you so well much. Superstar co-host Bob Harper. Uh, to Prem, uh, first time on our show, to Dr. Ian. Uh, watch Bob. Biggest loser, of course, here at JJ Yemen and NBC. We'll see you when we see everybody. Bye. Bye. Coming up next, what one area here in South Florida is doing to get ready in case a hurricane hits. And it's June. We'll run down the list of some home items you can find this month on the cheap. We're back in just 30 seconds with local coverage you can count on. Just steps away from the water, relax and enjoy the atmosphere and amazing food. Mulligans, 12 weeks of summer, where kids eat free Monday through Friday, 3 to 9 p.m. Catch your News Channel 5 updates throughout the day on News Radio WJNO. We begin this 
Midday with breaking news. Two people are dead, 17 hurt in a head-on crash between a bus and tractor trailer. Look at these pictures. This is a Pocono Mountain region of northeastern Pennsylvania, close to Scranton. This morning left a big part of that rig sheared in half. Monroe County emergency officials said the crash was reported shortly after 10 this morning in the northbound lanes of Interstate 380 near the Mount Pocono exit. We'll be following that through the course of the newscast. We do want to get to some local coverage though right now. Uh, the Indian River County inmate put on live support after a ride inside of a jail transport van has died. Deputies say they do not suspect foul play. It is still a mystery though why Mitchell Martinez was found unconscious inside the van last week. News Channel 5's Chris Stewart picks it up from there. The Indian River County Medical Examiner says an autopsy will be performed tomorrow on Mitchell Bradley Martinez. He was found unconscious inside of a jail transport van after an eight minute ride from the courthouse to the jail last week. Take a look at his picture on Friday. He was in court for a bail hearing. His bail was revoked and he was put in the back of a transport van for a short ride to the jail. You can see in the surveillance video Martinez being taken out of that van unconscious. The sheriff's office says they did what they could to save him. Martinez was put Put on life support in the hospital. The sheriff's office says Martinez was in a holding area directly behind the van's driver. He was not in contact with other inmates. His friends shared pictures with News Channel 5 of abrasions on his neck. Deputies say there is no evidence he tried to harm himself. The sheriff said Martinez did not have abrasions when he was in their custody. The Indian River County Sheriff's Office says it will be meeting with the medical examiner later today. The ME tells us it will take several weeks to figure out Martinez's cause of death. In the newsroom, Chris Stewart, WPTV News Channel 5. Just days after graduating high school, Jupiter police have arrested a West Palm Beach teenager. Mia Melanes is charged with robbery with a firearm and fleeing from police. His bond set at $25,000 during his first court appearance this morning. Police say Melanes drove the getaway car after he and two of his friends, also teens, robbed another group of teens at a gunpoint near a Jupiter Beach. Police chased him from Jupiter into Riviera Beach. They crashed near a business off Old Dixie Highway where police chased him on foot before arresting them. Let's just say it was a rather wet morning for many of you out there. Uh, Storm Team meteorologist Glenn Glather joins us now with what uh, Glenn we can expect later this afternoon. Well, things are looking not too bad. I mean, it's definitely not the sunniest day in the Sunshine State. I mean, you see plenty of cloud cover here. The sun has managed to break through a little bit here and there. That's the Jupiter Inlet camera. Not a whole lot of people on the beach this afternoon. We do have one little shower in our area right now and it's right down here southern Boca Raton uh, just along Palmetto Park Road here near the eastern part of Palmetto Park and right along the beach there. Uh, rest of the area looking pretty good. We've got some showers right uh, off the coast here so far this afternoon. We could see a few more showers maybe a couple of thunderstorms if we get a little daytime heating from some more sunshine. On the whole, rain chances are much lower than this morning and yesterday. We'll talk about our rain chances straight through the weekend coming up in just a few minutes. Some people in Palm Beach are preparing for hurricane season. Of course, that began Monday. The Citizens Association of Palm Beach joined the Palm Beach Fire Department today to talk about a special evacuation plan. Fire Rescue says elderly residents living in high-rise condos by the water need to be extra prepared. That's because if there's a lot of storm damage, crews might not be able to get to them right away. We had sailboats on the streets, we had trees down, and we had to get heavy equipment to get to certain portions of the town. So immediately after a storm, the emergency response is very delayed to take care of people. The fire department says they will also have special needs shelters set up ahead of time in case people need housing or medical supplies. We continue to follow the latest developments surrounding the deaths of eight babies at St. Mary's, their pediatric heart program. A CNN investigation that aired this week found problems after babies had surgery inside the hospital's four-year-old pediatric open heart surgery unit. Eight babies have died since that unit opened in 2011, all passing away after surgery with a same surgeon, Dr. Michael Black. In a statement from St. Mary's, a hospital spokesperson said the program is open and remains open. Dr. Michael Black is a 25-year veteran in cardiac surgery and was recruited to lead our pediatric cardiopathic surgery program because of his impressive background. According to CNN's calculations, the death rate in this unit at St. Mary's Medical Center is more than three times the national average. Attorneys representing the family 
suing St. Mary's will get a chance to question Dr. Black next month. Chinese rescue teams trying to find those still missing after a cruise ship overturned on the Yangtze River. More than 420 people are still unaccounted for this midday. As several more divers were deployed, a large crane was brought in to try to get that ship out of the water. It was floating with a sliver of its hull jutting from the river today. As you can see from this video, the bodies of 19 victims have been pulled from the boat. 14 people have survived, some of them by swimming ashore, but the vast majority of the passengers on board remain missing. Justin, we are seeing the first video of a tractor trailer flipped over on a highway. This is in Northern California's Central Valley. That truck overturning on Highway 99 south of Sacramento. Officials say the semi slammed into an embankment and slid down the highway before ending up on its side spilling scores of boxes filled with household products. The driver was taken to a hospital in that area complaining of head and neck pain. Officials believe he may have fallen asleep behind the wheel. An arrest outside of Boston as the FBI tries to figure out if anyone else was involved in a possible terror plot. Yesterday, authorities shot and killed Usama Rahim. Federal agents have been tracking him around the clock. Authorities say another man could face federal terrorism charges as soon as today. They believe he has ties to Rahim. It's important that the public know that the officers approached this individual without their firearms drawn. The officers are retreating, and that's from the video we have available as well as witnesses' account. A joint terror task force wanted to question Rahim, fearing that he had been radicalized through ISIS-inspired social media. Boston police say the suspect threatened officers with a knife before he was killed. President Obama's special envoy for the global coalition to counter ISIS says defeating the militant group's ideology will likely take a generation or more. General John Allen made that comment today, speaking at the annual U.S. Islamic World Forum in Qatar. Allen told the forum that squeezing ISIS's access to financial resources was one of the most effective mechanisms for the coalition to stop its operations. It will be a long-term campaign. Aspects of it, like defeating Daesh's ideology, will likely take a generation or more. But we can and we must rise to this challenge. The general went on to say the adoption of new ways of rehabilitating returning ISIS foreign fighters as opposed to long-term detention could be the best route. You can weigh in this evening on the future extension of State Road 7 in Palm Beach County. There's an open house from 5 to 7 at the South Florida Fairgrounds Expo Center. Maps and projects will show the expansion project extending from State Road, uh, from Okeechobee, that is, to North Lake Boulevard. Really, it's been very controversial, in fact, pitting Western communities against West Palm Beach leaders, many who believe uh, this could ultimately hurt the city's water supply. I do want you to keep this in mind from now on in the Treasure Coast, especially uh, the westbound lane of the North Causeway Bridge in Fort Pierce. That is closed starting today. It's going to stay that way until later this fall, which means traffic in both directions on A1A will take turns using the eastbound lanes to cross the bridge. So yes, expect some delays in that area. Uh, the closure is part of a bridge rehabilitation project to fix the deterioration deteriorating west side of the bridge, though FDOT is planning to replace the entire thing starting in 2019. More money's on the way to Palm Beach County school teachers. The school board and teachers union last night approved a 2% across the board salary increase for the county's 12,000 teachers. This will be retroactive to March 2nd. Think twice before you get a cash advance on your credit card. Creditcards.com did a new report and found nearly 98 of the 100 credit cards it surveyed charge a fee. Usually it's 5%, maybe 10 bucks. Plus you have that interest that's tacked on too. So typically, listen to this, a $1,000 cash advance would cost an additional $69, even if you pay the entire thing within 30 days. The rush to beat the heat on those do-it-yourself home projects mean we'll see some of the best savings and rebates this month. Fatwallet.com, a cashback shopping site, says shoppers, you'll see significant de discounts on paints, stains, and tools as well. Father's Day sales also kick in this week, so keep that in mind if you're shopping. Father's Day is just around the corner, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. News Channel 5 is back in 60 seconds. Coming up, the nose knows <laughs> how your sense of smell could lengthen your life. Hey, are you into running? Maybe even if you're not, why? Today is the chance for runners to reaffirm their passion for the exercise and beginners to jump on in. You are watching News Channel 5 on WPTV. Local coverage you can count on.
Hello, Jupiter to Cuesta. I need some help with my air conditioning. Quick, efficient home repair is reason to celebrate. There is really only one boy, one girl, one forest, one deep dancing ocean, one handful of sand through our fingers, one endless sky, and one simple way to care for it all. Visit earthshare.org. Learn how the world's leading environmental groups are working together under one name, Earthshare. Cersei, Denny, Scarola, Barnhart, and Chip, the attorneys at law, taking time to care. Hello, Jupiter to Cuesta? I need some help with my electrical. Quick, efficient home repair is reason to celebrate. A new study links being bullied with a teen with adult depression. British researchers surveyed nearly 4,000 13-year-olds about bullying. They followed up five years later. Almost 15% of the most frequently bullied teens had symptoms of depression by the time they were 18. That's compared to only 5% who were never bullied. Experts estimate up to 30% of young adults who are depressed may have been bullied. All right, listen to this one. New research suggesting having a keen sense of smell could lengthen your life. More than 1,000 senior citizens were asked to identify 40 different odors. Those with the lowest scores had a 45% mortality rate over the next four years, compared with 18% of seniors with the highest scores. The results were the same even after adjusting for medical issues and dementia. Experts say a bad sense of smell does not cause death, but could signify maybe some underlying health problems. With wedding season in full swing, Orbits.com has created a list, nine top places in the country to elope. Here in the U.S., the choices are Napa Valley, Vegas, and of course, you can't leave out Florida's beaches. Coming in at number eight is the Lowe's Don Caesar Hotel, the Pink Palace, situated on the shores of St. Pete Beach. The Don has a wide array of ceremony options combined with an elegant backdrop. Uh, this historic hotel, by the way, dates back to 1928. If you do want to do it up, though, maybe wed like a royal, go to the Dalhousie Castle Hotel and Spa, which is located near Edinburgh in Scotland. The Stanley Cup Finals are being played here in sunny Florida, but see why that has some music fans singing the blues. Plus, the ultimate brownie is just minutes away. Are you strong enough to resist, Glenn? <laughs> no. <laughs> Here's a look, uh, look up along the Treasure Coast this afternoon. Sebastian Inlet camera showing some waves rolling on in. Not many people out at the beach today. We do have some chances for rain in the forecast. We'll break down your weekend coming up in just a few minutes. When it's 5 o'clock on News Channel 5, you need to know what's happening right now. Steve Winkle with weather safety and accuracy right when and where you need it. WVTV News Channel 5. When you need to know about the weather, you round up the usual characters. You know the type. They know about this. They know about that. They even know about these. Now, your family can have days like this and that. Storm Team 5. It's the I-95 RV Show in Port St. Lucie. You'll save thousands on a newer used RV. Like this new Fleetwood Discovery Diesel Pusher discounted over $113,000. The I-95 RV Show is going on now at La Mesa RV in Port St. Lucie. In the sea of mattress retailers, City Mattress rises above the rest with superior service and selection, tremendous values, and a staff of consultants who will guide you to your perfect mattress. You deserve the best. Find it today only at City Mattress. Did you know that eating blueberries can improve your memory as you age? Or that adding more vegetables to your diet can reduce your risk of heart disease? As a registered dietitian, you can help others prevent disease and promote a healthy lifestyle. Kaiser University's bachelor's degree in dietetics and nutrition can be a foundation to a healthy lifestyle and a new career. Call Kaiser today to learn how you can prepare for a degree in dietetics and nutrition. Helping South Floridians is important to me. My dad built his business here. It's where I grew up. Our clients are wonderful, honest people. After their accident or injury, most are in shock and vulnerable. My number one job, to fight for their rights so they can focus on healing. I'm attorney Glenn Levine from the law offices of Anajar and Levine. 
I wake up every morning with one mission, to make clients whole again. If you need responsive legal help, call 1-800-747-FREE for a consultation. It's the I-95 RV Show in Port St. Lucie. You'll save thousands on a new or used RV. Like this new Itasca by Winnebago Rayo, discounted to just $5.28 per month. The I-95 RV Show is going on now at La Mesa RV in Port St. Lucie. Closed captioning on WPTV is sponsored by Bethesda Health. 14 minutes after 12, two people dead after a police chase and gunfire south of Dallas. Police in Ellis County say the chase began after a traffic stop in which the suspects assaulted a police officer and took that officer's police cruiser. After nearly two hours, police were able to stop the stolen SUV using spike strips. Police say a gunshot was heard coming from inside the parked vehicle. Then minutes later, the driver got out of the vehicle holding a gun. That's when police shot and killed the driver. The injured officer was treated at a hospital for non-life-threatening injuries. One person was killed, eight hurt in this crash involving several vehicles in a Chicago City bus. Witnesses say the driver of one of the cars ran a red light, slamming into the bus, setting off that chain reaction. The bus hit a pedestrian, pinning the woman underneath. She was killed. All of the other injuries police say are non-life-threatening. A small earthquake rattling parts of Southern California. The 2.7 magnitude quake shook the Simi Valley area just after 10 last night local time. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the epicenter was about four miles west of Chatsworth at a depth of nearly seven miles. No reports of damage or injuries. More tar balls are washing up on California beaches. The latest globs were discovered on Zuma Beach in Malibu, making it the largest stretch of Southern California coastline to turn up the oily clumps. Los Angeles County lifeguards are seeing all of that at high tide lines just after sunrise. Swimmers and surfers were being told not to make any contact. If they did, wash it off with baby oil. Tar balls began showing up on Southern California beaches 10 days ago. Happening today, it is the first game of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Florida's own Tampa Bay Lightning will host the Chicago Blackhawks, and you can catch the game right here on WPTV this evening. As always, uh, the mayors of both cities, they have a friendly wager. Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn, he's wagered some of Tampa's best beer and its signature Cuban sandwiches. Meanwhile, Mayor Rahm Emanuel is offering up, yeah, Chicago's best pizza and cheesecake should the Lightning pull it out. And then a contribution is going to be made to the organization organization of the winning mayor's choice. Because of the Stanley Cup, Garth Brooks had to cancel his concerts this weekend in Tampa. That's right, the country music star tells us his crew worked on a resolution for two days, but after looking at a lot of different scenarios, all of them pose some sort of safety hazard for his crew. We also asked the big question on everyone's mind is, will he reschedule? People with these arenas today are crazy. <laughs> this date has been on hold for over two years. Wow. So now matching that arena's open weekends with our open weekends, right now it's getting kind of tough. I bet you there were uh, quite a few folks here on the east coast of Florida willing to make that trip over for the concert. Garth says he's still working on a fix. He doesn't want to make any promises that he can't keep. He said he's heartbroken. He wasn't able to perform for his Florida fans. Now, Storm Team 5 with South Florida's most accurate weather forecast. Good afternoon again, everyone. Well, as we take a quick look outside this afternoon, our live five camera over Peanut Island and Singer Island looking to the east. Plenty of clouds out there, even some showers out over the Atlantic right now, but also some blue skies peeking out here and there. Not everywhere, but in parts of our area. Most of the rainfall is off to our east and down to our south. There's a little bit to the southwest and over on the west coast of Florida as well. But there's a little bit of a dry patch here moving across the state right now. We could still see a few showers and thunderstorms develop this afternoon, especially now that we're getting some sunshine in some spots, and that's creating some instability in the atmosphere, which could generate a few showers and storms during the afternoon hours. So all our radar sweeps going right now. Not much to talk about up along the Treasure Coast from Sebastian to Winter Beach to Vero. No rainfall there. A little bit north of Okeechobee County, a couple little showers. Right off of Jupiter, Juno Beach to Cuesta, a few showers out over the ocean there. There's one uh, just off of Lake Worth and some pretty heavy rainfall right 
in that area there where you see the orange and yellow. Some showers off of Del Rey and Boca. And there's one little shower in the Boca Raton area right now. It's kind of fizzling out. So this is a lot of tropical moisture in place, but the good news here is that the tropics are nice and quiet right now. No signs of anything developing as we move through the third day of hurricane season. A quick look at Vipercast and you'll see Vipercast already showing some showers right now, which isn't happening yet, but we could see a couple of these pop-up showers and thunderstorms. Here's 430 this afternoon, especially in our inland communities, but maybe a little bit of rain along the coast. It's also possible later today and then quieting down during the evening hours with a few coastal showers hours possible overnight. Our rainfall chances about a 70% chance for rain today. That was primarily this morning where we did see a lot of rainfall and then through the rest of the days this week and into the weekend about a 50% chance for showers and thunderstorms which means scattered showers and a few thunderstorms possible each day. So if you have outdoor plans running through the weekend just make sure you check the radar and See if there's anything headed your way or maybe even moving away from you. I know a lot of folks are going to see Train and the Fray on Sunday night at Coral Sky Amphitheater. Might be some wet ground there because we are expecting some rainfall during the afternoon. So maybe instead of just a blanket, you might need to take a little tarp along with you. But the weekend looking pretty good on the whole. Partly sunny skies both days. And just again, watch that radar for scattered showers and a few thunderstorms, primarily during the afternoon and early evening hours. Okay, quick question for you. Are you strong enough to resist the ultimate brownie? Yeah, that's what I thought. Here's Howard, though. We're going to try with Mr. Food's Test Kitchen with a sample. As you can probably imagine, here in the Test Kitchen, we taste test lots of recipes. And just like most of you, our favorite part is when we get to try a new dessert. Well, recently, we came up with a new, totally from scratch brownie that I think is the best brownie I've ever eaten. To make it, all we do is add some cocoa powder to a bit of melted butter, and once it's combined, we add some sugar and give it a quick mix. Next, we beat in four eggs, one at a time. The key is to make sure we beat it really well after we add each egg. Now we add some flour. Vanilla. And a touch of salt and stir it until it's smooth. Then we toss in lots of semi-sweet chocolate chunks to make this even more chocolatey. And some walnuts if you want. This goes into a 9 by 13 pan and we'll bake it off until it passes the toothpick test. What we end up with is the richest, most decadent brownies you've ever tasted. <laughs> sure, they're amazing with a glass of milk, but to take them over the top, try serving with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. And oh my gosh. Ultimate Fudgy Brownies is one recipe you really need to go online and get right away. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a very chocolatey way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Anyone else wondering why Howard wasn't here live today for that? <laughs> I wish he would. <laughs> Looks good, Howard. You can find this recipe simply by going to our website. Do it right now, wptv.com slash Mr. Food. We're back after this. Have you been injured in an accident? The law firm you hire can affect the amount of money you receive on your claim. The lawyers at Kibbe Wagner have over 50 years of combined legal experience. Call us today. We can help. Kibbe Wagner, trust experience. We all have you smiling again. Dental Group. Tired of loose, uncomfortable dentures? Here's the solution. Using the newest technology, Ferber Dental Group can make you teeth that snap in. You'll eat the foods you love with no need for messy glues. Ferber can do your treatment for far less money with affordable payment plans. So get your life back. Call us today and we'll have you smiling again. Now open in Boca and Lake Worth. Hi, I'm Mike Sonsini, one of the owners of Screen Builders. You may have seen news reports about a fraudulent company with a name similar to ours. I like to set the record straight. Our company, Screen Builders, has been serving the South Florida community for 28 years. We don't cut corners. So remember, we're the original Screen Builders. We're here to stay and we'll continue serving you with honesty, integrity, and customer service. Skin cancer affects one in five Americans of all ages. Only a highly trained health professional can detect skin cancer and early detection can mean the difference between life and death. Call today and make an appointment for a skin cancer screening at Water's Edge Dermatology, 
one of America's leading dermatology practices. Remember, early detection can save your life. It saved mine. There's a Water's Edge office near you, so call today. When what's inside is important to your family, choose our family. At All My Sons Moving and Storage, we're family owned and operated with over four generations of packing, storing, and moving experience. At All My Sons, you get a guaranteed binded price in writing. So, whether we pack the box or you do, or if you're moving one mile, one city, or one state away, let our family move yours. Dial Star Star Move to speak with a moving specialist today. All My Sons Moving and Storage. Yeah, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I tried so hard. I can't ride the puppy. I don't know what it is about that little gal's love. And love. I like it. I love it. I want some more. Join us for the Jeff Conine Celebrity Poker Classic, July 13th. Benefits the Conine Clubhouse at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. Visit ConinePokerClassic.org. Play more, be happy. That's how we roll at Isle Casino Pompano Park. Don't let an insurance company deprive you of money in your injury case. As a lawyer used to represent insurance companies, I know what it takes to get the money you deserve. Before you talk to them, talk to me. KB Wagner, Trust Experience. HD News on WPTV is sponsored by Stanley Steamer. Coming up at four on the now with Shannon Cake, cell phones and tablets causing a real pain in the neck known as text neck. We're going to talk about that. One doctor speaking out about how patients are getting younger and younger, and he's going to have some solutions for you on how to relieve the pain. All of that coming up today at four. All right, lace up your shoes, hit the pavement or treadmill because today is National Running Day. It's observed each year on the first Wednesday in June. The day is a chance for your runners to reaffirm your passion and beginners, you know, jump on in on the fun. Races are being held across the country in celebration. By the way, today is also National Repeat Day. What did you say? National Repeat Day. What day is it? <laughs> National Repeat Day. What day is it? You know what? How did I not know that it was National Running Day? Because I'm taking the day off from the gym. What? You are? I am. I'm Man. tired. Slacker so you're protesting holiday. National Running Day? Is that what's happening? Silently. Right? Like very silently. All right, a quick look at the seven-day forecast. Lots of cloud cover around. Some sunshine making it through today. Thursday and Friday. Not bad, partly sunny skies, very humid conditions, and a chance for scattered showers and a few thunderstorms both days. Let's head into your weekend. A lot of folks with weekend plans, weddings, and outdoor activities. Doesn't look too bad, but there is a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms both days. Hey, we gotta run. All right. Bye-bye. And repeat. Run and repeat. <laughs> and and repeat. repeat. <laughs> Teamwork, over 35 years experience. At Searcy Denny, we have an experienced team to pursue justice. At Searcy Denny, we pursue justice. If you're a victim of an auto or trucking accident, learn more at searcylaw.com. We're stepping things up on an all-new Wendy. From Dancing with the Stars, Tony Dovolani and Chef Lydia Bastianich. Take your dishes from Smith to Mamma Mia. <laughs> Today at 3 on WPTV News Channel 5. Super Polygrip seals out more food particles so your food won't get stuck. And you can enjoy every single bite. Mm -hmm. Eat loud, live loud. Super Polygrip. <laughs> Super Polygrip holds your dentures tightly in place. So you never have to hold back. Laugh loud, live loud. Super Polygrip. Hi, I don't have insurance, so I was hoping my exam and x-rays would be free. Well, I was hoping the dentist would ask me to marry him. <laughs> but we don't all get what we want now, do we? <laughs> okay, let's try something new. I was hoping my exam and x-rays would be free. They are. I was hoping you'd say that, because that's a normal thing to say. At Aspen Dental, we're not just fixing teeth. We're fixing dentistry with free exams and x-rays for new patients without insurance. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Oh, sweetheart, I ask no more than this A kiss to build a dream on Hannibal earned a perfect score on Rotten Tomatoes And it beat every other show to win Hulu's Best of the Best Isn't it time you discovered Hannibal? Premieres tomorrow after Aquarius, here on NBC 
Managing depression, it's about getting you back to you and all the things that matter to you. Whether or not you're taking an antidepressant, feelings such as depressed mood and lack of energy can still get in the way. And that's just not you. We're conducting a clinical research study evaluating an investigational drug designed to work with antidepressants to see if it can help address unresolved symptoms of depression. So give us a call and see if you may be eligible to participate. Need a new mattress? Come to El Dorado and shop Florida's largest mattress selection. It's early morning. You're up because, well, the work never stops. The weather team is so important to me because I need accurate, reliable information. WPTV Storm Team 5. Only in one neighborhood that matters. Yours. I have to know what and where the weather is happening. Showcasing the storm from every angle. I'm watching and waiting on that radar to find out what my afternoon is going to look like. Storm Team 5. The only morning weather team. Today on 5 on WPTV News Channel 5. Do you know your tire's birthday? Tires over six years old should be replaced because the rubber weakens with time and the tires could crack and explode. Learn more at CerseLaw.com. The attorneys of Cersei Denny, a passion for justice. On their webcam, trying to win up to $35,000. We got double the fun today because all of day, today's players are twins. Let's meet them. From Wadsworth, Ohio, give it up for Jenny and Tammy. From Burbank, California, give it up for Kamina and Kalila. From North Delaware, it's John and Mark. From Fort Lauderdale, Florida, give it up for Jay. And just see. Welcome, everybody. We asked America their opinions on a bunch of fun topics. All you have to do is guess what America said, and you win the big money. If you're ready to have some fun, say yeah. yeah. All right, let's get this party started. This first question is worth $100. And it has two possible answers. The answer is 